Okay, this video will show the effect of the quota imposed on the free trade diagram and the effect on the foreign and domestic supply and the quantity purchased. The quota is the physical limit on the number of, or value of goods that can be imported into a country. So as you can see, here we have a free, a free trade diagram. Here is the domestic supply against the demand, which creates an equilibrium at PE in the price column and in QE and the quantity axis. The blue horizontal line is the world supply at price world. Before the quota is imposed, the domestic supply is from zero to Q1 at price world, and the foreign supply is from Q1 to Q2, also at the price world, as you can see on the diagram. The quantity purchased is from zero to Q2, it's almost the whole quantity of the diagram. So now let's assume a quota is introduced. Uh, introduced the quota is the real line which crosses the demand line, causing price quota under PE and above price world. This creates a Q4 as it shows. It also creates Q3. In this diagram, we are assuming that the quota is imposed uh, is from Q1 to Q3, uh, as it corresponds in the diagram. However, once this happens, there is an excess demand from Q3 to Q2 at price world, and so the price begins to rise. As the price rises, the importers are not allowed to supply more because they have filled their quota, and domestic producers will begin to enter the market attracted by the high prices. The domestic supply curve has an effect shifted to the right above PW. Eventually the price sells at P quota where demand now equals supply again. Uh, thus creates the yellow triangle uh, which goes from Q3 to Q2. This shows the amount of debt with loss of welfare, the debt with laws of welfare can be divided into two areas. The green is the inefficient production would go from Q3 to Q4 and the purple one is the loss of consumer surplus which goes from Q4 to Q2. The inefficient production in the green area is the quantity being produced by relatively inefficient domestic producers as opposed to more efficient producers. Consequently, it represents the inefficiency of domestic producers and a loss of welfare ineffic inefficiency, thus creating a debt with loss of welfare. The loss of consumer surplus in the purple area is a loss that represents the quantity that is no longer demanded. Consequently, a debt with loss of welfare because of the loss of the consumer surplus. The domestic supply after quota is from 0 to Q1, while the foreign supply is from 0 to Q1. Also the domestic producers uh, supply from Q3 to Q4, and uh, evidently uh, we can see the difference between the first diagram, the, the one on the right that shows the free trade diagram without the quota imposed uh, and then the left in the upper part of the slide we can see the quota diagram with all the consequences that can happen with this